welcome to the project demonstration of covid vaccination checking and gate identification system so in this project with the help of the pi camera we are going to check the covid vaccination uh, on the website so for that we are going to use the register details in the covid vaccination certificate so covin we can check the uh, like the person got vaccinated or not so as you, as we can see that from here so based on that uh, we are going to authenticate the person for gate opening and closing purpose so here we are using pi camera and raspberry pi to check the details and based on that we are going to provide the gate authentication with help of a dc motor here so right so the gate authentication as we discussed from the dc motor we are going to do that so this is the registration details so once the person got two doses successfully then the system will check the scan this one so based on the two doses authentication we are going to provide the authentication through the uh, green led indication along with dc motor opening and closing and a audible alert whenever the person was not vaccinated at least one time so as we know that so when the person was not vaccinated at least one time then there is a red icons here okay so based on that we are going to provide the uh, alert message on the lcd screen like this we are going to create it manually so when these two are red then automatically the gate was closed state only and the red light indication and the alert message like access denied on the lcd screen and the audible alert through this piezo buzzer so the so called scanning was done with the help of our uh, pi camera and raspberry pi so in the open cv we are going to scan that and we are going to identify the green circles and red circles so we can uh, check the green circles and based on the count from the green circles we are going to opening and closing that uh, dc motor with the help of l293 d motor driver so here we have interface l293 motor driver at 23 and 24 pin and lcd at pin number 17 27 22 9 10 11 11 green led at pin number 18 and red led at pin number 4 so the particular uh, pin number 4 was connected parallelly to the led of red and the buzzer also so for dc motor power supply we are providing 9 volts battery as we provide the extra battery also and uh, for raspberry pi running purpose we are making use of 5 volts adapter which will take 230 volts ac input and provide as the 5 volts output so the main thing while demonstrating the project we should place a white surface in front of the camera as we can see so we place the white cotton box in front of that so in order to eliminate the mal functioning so at least we should place the this screen near to this uh, pi camera at a distance of 6 to 7 inches and you should place your mobile phone in full bright screen and also we can monitor the visuals from the pi camera on your mobile phone screen so i'll show you that so before switching on the gate for that purpose before switching on the gate go to hotspot settings and uh, change the hotspot name to project 5186 and the password should be 12345678 so the project name uh, it should be all are small letters without any capital letter and without any space so after that enable the hotspot right and the next step is install the network analyzer application so this application we need to install from play store so this purpose the application purpose is to get the ip address of our raspberry pi now switch on the power supply and next connect the battery so the battery indication on this led and once the booting was successfully done then there will be welcome message on the lcd screen along with the buzzer and the two leds will be on and off two times and also you can see one device is connected right right welcome message and monitoring status on the lcd screen so now do the scanning so as we discussed go to options do lan scan and do the scan so there you get the ip address so one is your mobile phone and there is a raspberry pi ip address 192.168. which after getting the ip address from the network analyzer application so note uh, note on that and enter the ip address same ip address in the phone so 192.168.178.45 colon 5000 and slash stream so there we get the streaming from the camera so here we can get that streaming one so this is only for reference purpose how the camera is working and the next go to the our uh, like this closing one and let us providing that 
So I am removing the box. I stand in front of that without giving any malfunction. As we can. can see that now we am in front of that okay and now open the screen so place this in this manner near to the full screen like this okay and in front of that Access granted for the two grades. So it is a battery weak. So when the light is dim, let us see this again. So wait for two to three seconds because you need to take the double confirmation. So it won't work on the only single confirmation. So we can check the output on the Google Chrome in another mobile phone which is in the same Wi-Fi network region so it opens yeah, previously also same but due to the battery low we can see that the battery low presentation from this LED indication now let us see the another one one dose was happened right and no doses You should have the more brightness on your phone and also you should take care of the reflection also. So there should not be any reflection on your mobile phone screen. If there is any reflection then the system won't give the proper output as uh, my door lighting was falling on the phone screen. So the facing of the issue. Right. So let me show you this indoor with the low lighting one from more lighting from the mobile phone. Let me show you that. Now see the output. The indoor. So keep at least this much of distance for better presentation. and the next we should adjust the distance while showing the demonstration that is very important for single dose So for better uh, distance, with a better distance, you will get the faster response. Right. So this is we should take care of. Actually we should uh, place the more brightness in your phone. And also you can get the continuous streaming in your mobile phone. So like I am in front of that. So the other circles will get when we show the same screen in front of the camera. So by the double confirmation you can go with the execution.